AI as a concept, you know, and AI as a sci-fi concept has obviously been part of big movies before. You know, iRobot was sort of a, hey, robot taking over terminator all that stuff but yeah, terminators AI, the biggest one yeah terminators right. ai but ai i think we're getting to a place where in the terminator days you're like wow look at this this problem that's hundreds of years down the line it's fun to imagine the destruction that ai could cause at the box office i think we're in a period now where people don't want to deal with that Mm -hmm. And they don't want to see depictions of what if AI screws with everyday human life. It's just not a fun premise in this moment where that could actually happen any second. Well, you know, when Terminator came out, especially Terminator 2, which I think is like the defining mm -hmm. uh, Terminator movie, because it really goes into that whole idea a little bit more. Yeah, I think yeah. there was still so hope. Than Genesis, yeah. Yeah, there was still hope to defeat it. There mm. was still hope that someone would heed the warnings. And now we know, and we should have known, because it's right. like this with everything, is that if they can do it, they will do it. And it doesn't matter if it's helpful for society or not, because people will just unemotionally try to push things to the very limit Mm -hmm. until we are completely destroyed that's just the way it always goes and so i think that there's a level of fatalism in people's point of view mm. now that doesn't allow them to sit back relax and watch a movie where ai destroys everything because that in their mind is reality is mm -hmm. happening and will happen and it's there's no way to stop it and mm -hmm. i think that does not make for escapist entertainment and i don't think this movie's smart enough to be a highbrow version of this where you get the high-minded people to come and say oh my gosh this is a masterpiece it's an action movie about ai starring a guy that doesn't bring butts to the seats with a director that nobody knows the only thing they know about is that he got rogue one taken away from him mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah, and I, heard I think that there was a lot of spin about that in some articles. Anthony D is for Disney, D Alessandro, mm -hmm. saying, "Oh, well, that was overstated." It's like, no, nah, dude, it doesn't matter if the, it didn't happen that way. It's still he's still the guy that didn't finish Rogue One. Right, right, right. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. If you get taken off of, listen, Clayton has been removed from oh, several several jobs, situations, many, buildings, forcibly forcibly removed and anytime you've been forcibly removed there is no spin that could have covered that up no. no no you were removed gareth edwards was removed from rogue one the last film that he made i think you said it there it wasn't a masterpiece and this film in some ways needed to if not be a masterpiece to have more glowing reviews behind it and like we talked about on the preview episode needed to have an image in that trailer, a sequence in that trailer that made people get excited. There was not mm -hmm. a blowing up the White House from above Independence Day style moment yeah. where people were saying, you got to see this creator. That This film just didn't have that. It didn't have a giant star. AI is a premise that, if anything, scares people in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And that, listen, it added up to $14 million, And I think a film that is not going to hold. I mean, this is... This is 65. Let's be honest. We saw 65 yeah. earlier in the year with Adam Driver, and this was definitely supposed to be much bigger. And I think we're looking at the same trajectory because 65 opened to uh, around the same number, right? 65 opened to... Uh, I think it opened to less. Did it open to less? Did it open to single digits, 65? Did it, did it only open at 9 or $10 million? Um, looking at that now and 65, which came out just this March, open to 12. So, okay, so not that the far same off. thing. And it wound up at 32, and the creator is probably headed for the same direction, wind up in the 30s, probably doesn't crack 40. Yeah, 
I mean, yeah, I don't think the creator gets to a number any, you know, much higher than what 65 did. Yeah, I mean, with the movies that are coming out, you know, in the next couple of weeks, this thing's just going to get buried, especially, I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, the the 10,000 pound gorilla or whatever, Taylor Swift, that movie's taken over the IMAX is this thing's yes. no one's seen this movie in a, a postage stamp size theater screen. No, no. I mean, listen, next Friday, this coming Friday is the Exorcist Believer and whatever you think of that film, it's going to get the PLFs. It's going to get the, the the large format screen. So, you know. Next weekend is how many people are paying eight how how many tickets uh price at eight dollars add up to the second weekend at the creator, and that's probably not gonna be very much.